Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius, and this is going to be another episode of Amazing Fish. And today's Amazing Fish is the Western Rainbow Fish. Okay everyone, so right now you're looking at my 210 gallon community aquarium. This tank has fish from all over the world, but today I want to focus on the fish that come from Australia, and that is the Western Rainbow Fish, which is this little guy right here. Now this is definitely an awesome fish. He was one of the first fish that I added to this tank when I started to convert it into a community tank, and he's definitely awesome. Now I don't feature him too much in my videos, only because this fish is extremely fast and it's very hard to keep up with him with the camera but I'll try my best with this video. So um, the first reason why I love this fish is just because of that beauty. This fish shows so much color, it's just amazing. Um, they kind of look like saltwater fish. If you, For all my people who um, are interested in saltwater tanks who kept saltwater fish, I find that these fish are very similar in appearance to the wrasse, you know, the six line wrasse and those, the wrasse family. These fish look like the freshwater version. They definitely are just as fast and just as active. So let's look at the color. If I could just focus in a little better on this guy. He's always trying to show off in front of this other rainbow, but he's showing a nice rainbow of color. His body has a nice bluish silver sheen to it. And then along that blue, he has a nice little, a little bit of orange, a little bit of black and a little bit of purple stripes going along him. And then at the fence, he have a nice bright red. So this fish has a lot of color. Um, I just made a video about highly decorated fish. I would have added this guy, but um, I really can't focus in as much as I wanted to with the camera. So that's the only reason why he make it, didn't make it to that list. But this fish is decorated very nicely and just overall very beautiful. And you see what they do with that color. They try to show off in front of other males, females. If I had any females, he would be chasing females. But because I only have this other male, um, he's trying to show off in front of him. But that's what they do with the color. Always sporting their color and just very awesome. Another thing that I love about these fish is that, as you see here, he has an amazing amount of color. And he does a great job showing off that color. He's very active all over the tank. This is a six foot tank and every inch of this tank he's occupying. So just a very awesome fish to watch. Extremely entertaining, extremely beautiful. And just very cool to keep. Okay everyone, so when it comes to caring for your Western Rainbow Fish, I find, if I could find this fish, I find that these fish are generally easy to take care of. Um, if you've kept any other rainbow fish, they're just as easy. However, if you haven't kept rainbow fish, there are some things you should consider. One of which is that these fish are schooling fish. So for the best results of keeping these fish, for the best colors, for the best behavior, you definitely want to keep a decent number. I recommend a minimum of six or more. Now in my situation, he's the only of his species. However, in this tank, I have about 15 rainbow fish all together. And I find that if you can't provide a school of his own species, um, the second best thing is the school of just rainbow fish altogether. They do interact together, of course. His own species will be better, but if you can't, other rainbow fish will be better than nothing. Um, this fish maxes around three inches. They're not big fish, but they do like their space. As I said before, mine is just always darting back and forth. So I want to recommend a minimum tank size of 55 gallons just because of that four feet of space where they could just go back and forth. Um, another thing to consider is that rainbow fish tend to stay higher in an aquarium. And in most cases, when you have a fish that spends a lot of time at the top portion of the tank, they are or do pull the risk of jumping out. And that is the case with rainbows. Um, before, when I kept my Bosmani rainbows downstairs, the whole school jumped out one by one, like every month, one jumped out. So um, it is a concern when it comes to jumping. So you definitely want to keep a good hood on your tank or else these fish will be flopping on the floor and you will find them dead. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it when it comes to these rainbow fish. They will accept pretty much any foods. They do have small small mouths, so probably the best food you can feed them is like flakes for a stable diet, and then every now and then blood worms. They love their blood worms, um, millworms, and other small stuff like that. But yeah, that has been a look at the western rainbow fish. Now, I know I didn't get as close as I wanted to because this fish is extremely beautiful, showing immense color, but that's what I got you. So everyone, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you want more, make sure you subscribe because more is coming. Um, I might even show you guys this guy next week. But that has been a look at the Western Rainbow Fish. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and that will be the end.